Member of Parliament for Point of Pier, David Lee, held a peace match uh, this morning in response to what he says is a marked increase in crime in the area. Lee says he met with Minister of National Security, Edmund Dillon, who has given the assurance that his concerns and that of those living in his constituency have been noted and will be addressed. Dion Batiste has more. The MP complimented officers attached to the St. Margaret's Police Station for their continued efforts in trying to eradicate crime in the area but says too often their efforts are hampered by lack of the requisite resources. Again, you know, they are hampered by manpower and resources, and we are calling upon uh, Minister of National Security and his team to ensure the St. Margaret's um, Police Station gets the resources to, to help the, the constituents of Point of Pear, especially on this north side, um, in trying to eliminate the rising crime that we are noticing. Dr. Lee says the march, which started at the Macaulay Recreational Ground and ended at the Claxton Bay Junction, was meant to highlight social issues such as domestic violence and bring about an awareness of child abuse. But along the way, he was met by a resident who urged him to pay closer attention to issues of pollution and subsequent flooding, which he says affects the livelihood of persons living in the area. You is the man, and one of the men that I look in at, to go all by the riverbank and charge these people and them who polluting and throwing their plastic chairs and Agreed. mattress and cups and things by the billions, not I millions, saw, saw that because we this is what does happen. And if they want data, I could always prove it to you. Right. And this is a serious issue that we have to look at the Gulf, because we cannot be pol polluting the Gulf in this way. The resident urged the MP to advocate for the construction of a recycling factory, which he believes would help with the issue of pollution and flooding. Dr. Lee told the residents that he has been in talks with Tabakit MP Dr. Suraj Rambachan. If the government does not answer us in a proper way, we will be taking matters into our own hands. There was a moderate turnout for the peace walk. Dion Batiste, C News.